Pride turns the big 4-0 this year, and it's going to be a huge celebration. Things will look obviously different this year, but the spirit of Pride remains strong. Joining us now to kick off Pride Month with style is the one and only Maury Sherman from Roz and Mocha on KISS 92.5. You listen to Roz and Mocha, and most of Toronto does. You know full well who Maury Sherman is. By the way, Humber College Radio, class of 97, both Woo! of us here. Shout out to Humber College. Maury, it's great to see you, man. How excited are you about Pride? Oh, my gosh. Merry Gay Christmas. How are you? This is <laughs> awesome. And happy 40th to Pride. I got to give it to them. They look amazing for 40. I wish I looked that good at 40. Stop and, it. You know, <laughs> and I've said this before is, you know, all of the people who organize Pride, even though there's the pandemic, they moved everything online and they gave us over 130 events to to work with online virtually. That's incredible programming, and there's some incredible events to do online, whether it's the flag raising um, tomorrow, there are, uh, there's bingo, there is a youth poetry class, there's trivia, there's, of course, the Pride Parade, which last year, even though it was virtual, we all missed being on the street, but virtually, it was a party in your own home, and they did an incredible job. I am so excited for Pride this year. One last quick question, Maury, before we move on. Your role on social media during Pride will be what? How are you going to be helping us out? Oh, I'm going to be telling you all about the events, everything that's going to be happening. And I have to say this. I got to give it to my dad, Frank, because this year he called me over. And I think you have a picture. He wanted us to go in the backyard and raise the Pride flag that's awesome. in our backyard. That's, awesome. that's quite the dad. That was amazing. And that was really special. That's awesome. Quick leaf prediction before we let you go, more. Oh, oh, leaves. Yeah, so leaves. I knew this, but I just wanted to get Why you on the you record. Why would you ask me that? I just want to get you on the record. We're all on the record this morning. I wanted to get you on the record for the Leafs lose tonight. Maury Sherman. Yeah, no. Yes. Thank, thank you very much. Happy Pride. Happy Pride. Thanks for doing this. And look out for Maury's stuff on social. It's going to be great. Uh, we're going to continue the Pride theme here and speak to Amber Moyle from, from Pride Toronto, who's done a tremendous job. Amber, welcome to BT. It's great to see you. Obviously, again, it's not perfect this year from, from a social standpoint here. We're, we're not where we want to be, but how excited are you? I'm so excited. You know, it, we, our team has worked so hard again, and our artists have just created an incredible lineup. And I think it's going to be another great year, to, despite being mostly virtual. So, so what are, what are the virtual initiatives here that we're going to see to try and give people the same feeling that they would normally have during Pride Month? This year, we have over 70 virtual events, and we also have over 130 artists who are creating those uh, opportunities. We also launched, just a few days ago, our phys physical-based programming. So that's a number of initiatives that are going to be popping up in and around the city throughout the month, including some art installations and some community surprise and delight programming. So we're actually going to be going to every single ward in the city. Amber, how much, how much planning, how many meetings, how many conversations, like walk us through what it is like on, it on your end and your team, <laughs> yeah, no doubt, on your team's end to put mm -hmm. something, one of the biggest events in North America, let's call it what it is, together mm -hmm. from, a, from a virtual, for the most part, standpoint. What, what, how, how much planning has gone into this? <laughs> Absolutely. So I think folks think that we're a big team, but actually we're only seven full-time staff. We do work wow. all year long to make this happen, uh, but we rely on contract staff and community consultations. So we have a number of committees that really organize a lot of our programming for our trans programming, dyke marches, that type of programming. It really comes from the community's uh, consultations and perspectives. So they've been a huge asset to us, uh, of course. So yeah, that we work all year long and it's been a ton of work because we've basically planned a new festival every single day, every single new announcement. But I mean, I think we were prepared Prepared and we've been able to follow through with what we've had planned for many months now. Uh, before we let you go, again, this it's going to be, Pride is, Pride is amazing. Pride is, again, one of the biggest events in North America. It's different this year. Obviously, everything's a little different. But uh, where can people find more information on all your, your, your really unique initiatives? So we were able to produce the Pride Guide again online. So check out our website. Everything's listed there. There's a full interactive calendar. For the community programming, check out our social pages. We're going to be announcing the day before, the day of. And again, we're going to be in every single ward. So pop over and say hi, grab a Pride bag. And, and we just want to have the opportunity to have a little face-to-face -face moment with our community. So happy Pride, everyone. Two things, Amber, before we let you go, happy Pride to you. I am shocked at the size of your team organizing this. This is something I did not know. This is, this, this is new information for me. Bless all of you for the work that you do, considering how big an event this is. And, and stay safe and, and enjoy the month. Thank you very much for joining us, Amber. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much.
Again, uh, Pride Month and Pride right around the corner. And, and uh, Maury Sherman of KISS 92.5 will be our social media guide. Check out our social media accounts for uh, a lot of what Maury is going to provide. All right, we're going to take a break. We have some good news on the vaccine front, apparently. Uh, we have some more shipments coming in. It's, it, it's dicey week to week, as you know. But coming up after the break, Melanie Yang's got details and some news you are going to want to hear. Good morning, Toronto. You're watching BT.